we will not give up on this case. We will find this person someday. 18 months after an arsonist burned churches in Clark County, investigators release video of him in action. Hello everyone, I'm Brenda Braxton. If you recognize that guy, investigators want your help. KGW's Tim Gordon is live in Hazeldell where the worst fire happened. And Tim, that church is still trying to rebuild. Yeah, the rebuild is continuing. It's a slow process. You can see them working here. A slow process, much like the investigation, Brenda, now a year and a half old. Maybe that video will help solve it. When the first congregational church went up in flames, you couldn't miss it. Fire ripped through the unique arc-like roof in the early morning hours of May 25th, 2016. A day later, another fire before dawn at the Liberty Bible Church in nearby Salmon Creek. Investigators ruled both arson. And now we know they believe the arsonist is the man in the surveillance video running from a fire just set a few days later. Not at a church, but at a teen addiction recovery center called Daybreak in Brush Prairie. They waited a long time to release this material, saying they had to balance protecting their case. But now investigators want you to take a close look at the man in the still pictures and the unique hat he left behind at the third fire. It's marked up with symbols of the comic book character Deadpool. Investigators need a break and hope you can provide it. Maybe they have been thinking they have somebody in mind that may have been uh, responsible for this, but just didn't feel comfortable coming forward. Maybe this will spur it on and they'll say, okay, yeah, that's, I know who that is. Church members still wondering who and why someone would do this. One of the reasons I wanted to come was just to see where we were at. Uh, it's been on people's minds, although I think it's now secondary to, uh, you know, getting the, the church rebuilt. And back here live, you can see that's exactly what they're doing way up there near the cross. You know, between insurance and permitting, the rebuild here is going very slow, but this congregation is still together and they will be back here someday. And investigators bow to catch this arsonist someday. You heard that. There's a $20,000 reward if you can help catch that arsonist and to have them convicted. Got information on how you can provide a tip at our story at kgw.com.